In the forefront of this process was Ayatollah Khalkhali. Nominally, he was in charge of an anti-drug campaign, but in fact he used his powers against all and sundry and boasted of the number of executions he had ordered. Khalkhali was so proud of his achievements that he had this film made of himself in action. He wanted to show off his no-nonsense way of dealing with drug offenders. The prisoners seen here have already been condemned to death for peddling or simply consuming heroin. Their hair and moustaches are partly shaven to give them a humiliating and grotesque appearance. The Iranian cameraman who shot these sequences was convinced that many of the prisoners were there for political reasons and that the narcotics charges were merely a cover. <laughs> One prisoner, planted by the judge, flavors his confession with a suitable political message. <laughs> Against this kind of government, the remains of the liberal opposition rallied round Iran's first elected president, Abul Hassan Bani Saad who fought a losing battle against the power of the fundamentalist clergy. In June 1981, many of his supporters were arrested and shot. He himself was driven into exile. But the regime's opponents struck back. A massive explosion destroyed the headquarters of the ruling Islamic Republican Party in Tehran, killing over 70 of its leaders, including Ayatollah Beheshti, the most powerful man in the country after Khomeini himself. Hadi Ghaffari, the unofficial leader of the Hezbollahis, or Party of God, demanded vengeance. The regime responded with a full-scale reign of terror. Anyone demonstrating in the streets, including teenagers, would be shot on sight. Thousands were arrested and many hundreds executed after only the most rudimentary trial. Torture was used intensively on a scale that the Shah's regime had never contemplated. And it goes on. Although the regime appears to have overcome the threat posed by the terrorism of the Mujahideen, reports of killings and torture continue to arrive from Iran every week. The repression seems unreasoned and indiscriminate. Neither women nor children are spared. What follows, filmed inside a Tehran prison, is just one sad example of the sort of justice that Khomeini's regime is so proud of. <laughs> ایشون هم قبول داره خودش 
ایشون هم خودش قبول داره اخیرا هم الان ما فرستادیمش پزشک قانونی پزشک قانونی که فرستادیم این حرفو تایید کرده که مکرر با این عملای زشت انجام میشده ایشون خودشون هم میگه یک ماس با من این دوست شده خودش چون بیماره با من دوست شده اما ایشون خودش رو قبول ندارن میگن نه این یک ماهی که با من دوست شده مرتب با من عمل زشت رو انجام میده و شناسنامه منو گروگان نگردشه که من نتونم برم و دندوناش هم پیشته با عمل زشت رو با دندون با دهن اینم انجام میده ده حالا آقا این چیزا درسته؟ هر که یه جناب تنگ دادن درست بود؟ خود چی داری چی بگی؟ چی بگی؟ چی انجام میده ده یا نمیده ده؟ نه از زندگی تعریف کن از زندگی تعریف کن از زندگی اومدم چرا باید باشه؟ چرا میدوشه؟ اومدم اینجا بعد گرفته این کاری کرده بعد شما از تامه میگرفته قبلا قالی میبافتم نه کجا قالی میبافتی؟ گم چند وقت پیش؟ چهار ماه پیش چند وقت اومدی تهران؟ سه ماه این به من میگه بگو یه ماه دوام میزدی؟ بله چند وقتی دوام میزنی؟ چی؟ دوام میخوری؟ جات نه دوام نمیخوری دوام نمیخوری؟ دوام میفروختی برای این شهر؟ نه این شهر تو نمیذاشت از اون صاحب خونه بیان بیان فقط از نظر جنسی استفاده میکرد چون اقا میترس؟ میگه آقا این میکرد و بسه چون که حال میکنه الان چون چون با چاپچیه رو اعدامشون میکنه این با اون کار که بگه از اون کار مثلا آره بیترسی ببین نه ترس نه ترس اگر چیده بگو نه هرچی باشه میگه من این کاری کرده سرمون میگره این طوره نه نه Khomeini's Islamic law demands that two males who admit to having sex together must be condemned to death. In an Islamic trial, there is no defending counsel, no jury, only a judge. By his own naive admission, this boy of 16, raped and brutalized by his older companion, has condemned himself to death. Two hours after this trial was filmed, they were both shot. Today, the power of the mullahs is unchecked. There is talk of liberalization, stability, and new business opportunities for the West. But for thousands of Iranians who died, and millions who hoped for freedom, this has been a revolution betrayed.